Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. She gathered her thoughts. Aged wood creaked, echoing through the quiet rooms. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. Margaret sought answers. But the goddess did not speak. There was only the faint whisper of something dark, something hungry. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. The only thought on her mind, has it begun again? John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. His wife gave him a kiss, and his daughter's hugs were full of reason to return home safe. Hello. It's me. <laughs> I didn't want to talk to the recording. Oh shit, it's still going. Hmm, <clears throat> pardon me. I'm gonna turn this down because I think this is too loud. I don't actually know what it sounds like in comparison to me. Hello, anyone and everyone. Welcome to Petrol Play, Children of Morta. So, slash for emphasis. I recorded this a few weeks ago, or two weeks ago initially, and my audio was messed up. It wouldn't. I didn't do it right, so then I had, it was really bad and you couldn't hear me. So now I had to re-record it, but I, in my initial playthrough, which is one mission besides the besides the tutorial, which this is a tutorial, I unlocked the dog, which I don't want to, I don't want anyone to miss out on. But I thought you guys should see the really beautiful intro. There's still some more cinematics in the tutorial. But we're going to cut from the tutorial and send you to where I am at, which is right here. So welcome. After the tutorial, you find out how your whole family is going to go and thwart the, e uh, thwart the evil. That's a little dog I unlocked in the first... Uh, I don't know if that's normal or if that's like something unique. Uh, he's poison puppo. Yeah, that's uh, daughter Linda who we unlocked. In, in the tutorial, you unlock her as a teammate and Linda is Nothing bae. could quite match the calm that Linda felt when playing her violin. Its sublime sound, the perfect counter to the nerve-wracking uncertainty and chaos. God damn, this narrator is phenomenal. <laughs> Yeah, this is a uh, oh grandma. So that's grandma. That's uh, another kid. It's Uncle Ben, where I believe we can work up greater stuff. That's mom. All right. 
Uncle Ben's workshop. Ocarina. We can't look at Ocarina. He's a Bergson's. The whole family line's damage. Movement speed. We're tired. We're tired, boys. Easy. What an easy decision. So the gist is, to unlock the final spot where the bad, where the evil is, we gotta go through all these little different portals, clearing them out, and then we can eventually go to the Morta, I believe, or where the bad area is. Basically, every area I think has three sections. Doesn't seem like the hardest game in the world. All right, we're playing as Papa John this time because the first playthrough, which you guys unfortunately will never get to see the light of day. Uh, that one I got to play is lovely Linda. Very uh, Diablo-like game, top-down, in dungeon crawler. Buttons are very or fairly simple, so it's been like a little bit since I played it the first time. I didn't want to play it again because I didn't want my like reaction to be disingenuine. So unfortunately, it's not my first reaction per se, but ooh, that swords of life, get that little dark boy out of here. What is this? Oh, yeah, then pull the torch right. Yeah, your bats. Swords of life. That's satisfying. Good damage. That this bat is an evasive foe. Hello! There's nothing up here, I see. Hold the bad boys. Hey, Toto, hold the line. The combo meter. Satisfying. Let's get as many enemies as possible so we can get combo meter going. That's not a lot of enemies. Continue our travels through the caverns. So far, this game beautiful, narrator phenomenal, sound sound correct. <laughs> Shield, amazing. The Holy Light has blessed me with a level up. What's this mean? Friggin' Hooligan. Let's see. Drop a divine item. Okay. Create an area that slows down enemies. So in our FQ, I have a slow. Hell yeah. Sort of like these spiders with their webs. I don't like you sketchy evil darkness coming out of the well. That's the root of this evil. So, a little bit about the studio, and I looked up the developers, even though the developer, I can't remember the name, it's a different name. Studio is 11 bit studio. And when I click on the developer, which name I can't remember for taking me right now, um, it also just took me to 11 Bit Studios page, so I don't really know what to tell you. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's like a, a key essentially to open up like a magic chest. Um, oh no, the darkness is here! Good, my master plan of running through traps. Oh, wait for it. Oh no! That one here. Okay, oh! Yeah, so I love the studio. They have made games such as Beat Cop, which I never played, but I've always had my own and meant to play. And it goes on sale for $2.99, and I think, why have I not bought this yet? And nah, I really should. Next time it's on sale for sure. Okay, that hurt. But they have done things like Beat Cop, uh, like Frostpunk, which is a very good grand. Is this a grand strategy? It's an RTS for sure. It's a brutal one. In the snow. 
Uh, am I just running in circles doing nothing? Yes. That one's apparently very good. I guess, I guess this is a boss room. Am I allowed just to walk in here? There's no... Divine damage, area it slows. Heaven's Justice sounds way freaking cooler. Oh, uh, oh thanks, I didn't press tab so I can understand what I just got. Oh, I, sh I think I had more to explore. That was bad. I should have probably backtracked. Oh! The halls of Anea Dyer, so mesmerizing in their magnificence, were to be found at the end of a long road. And a hero never knows what is awaiting them at the end of a road. Moving is more important than reaching. When did Linda get here? Not that I'm complaining, I love Linda. And these guys have also done Moonlighter! That's what I meant. That's what I was originally getting towards. That's cool, dude. So the first time I played this, it definitely didn't have that cutscene when I went downstairs. I got the doggo cutscene. So the game's different every time you play through, I'm assuming. Can't go back. But yeah, the channel... We've had Moonlighter on our channel, and this is the studio that's done Moonlighter. A very fun little game. Hey, spiders. Are they sick? Keep swimming. They can't punish you if you don't stop swimming. 23. That's called a purge, baby, not a cleanse. That's the most damage I've taken. That's, I guess, besides dying in the first playthrough. But. Yeah, so. I don't know if I uh, described it that well, but. Basically, the characters don't die in the game. They all. The whole gimmick is that they get re-summoned back to um, uh, what do you mean that purple explosion? Is it you? It's a big sword. <laughs> I told him to go to you, my guy. I cannot wait to right-click this fucking room into a good room. Eyes up. We sanitized, but we died. Fallen Silk Caverns Tomb 2. Bastards. That was definitely not a good showing. Kevin's need to help all began when his elder brother Mark left the house. His brother was strong, making any near him feel safe. But he left Kevin. Though Uncle Ben knew what his nephew needed, a focal point for his aspirations. Classic Uncle Ben. So, I believe the other characters are the other Bjergsen families. They don't have any pictures, that crazy bitch. But yeah, oh, real dialogue? Broke Uncle family. Ben pondered over a map he received from a refugee. The silk caverns were a twisted maze of dead ends and venomous nests. But somewhere along the right path, Anea Dyer, spirit of the Caldipo Caves, rested. I hear you. So I believe every member that you get to play as will be a different member of the Bergson family. And mother of God, let me play as a goddamn grandma. She's a powerful wizard, I can tell. She has a stick. Uncle Ben's probably a tinker that throws gadgets. That'd be cool. Lock, lock. Get the way lock. Let's just get all the basic ones first. Yay, one of each. We're so talented. And I think 
think this might be a good spot to end it. Yeah, last time I had a case of my video became 45 minutes long, and the recording was fucked up, so it didn't matter. But, yeah, this is a gorgeous looking game. Um, we're gonna end it here. So let me know with a like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see what the future holds of this game. And I will actually, pinky promise, I'm not going to play it, even though this active pain because it's very fun. I will wait until you guys get a chance to view the video and you let me know if you want to see a second video. If you stuck all the way through, please let me know in the comments below if you're interested in seeing more of this. If not, I'm just going to fucking play it solo. And it's going to be fun for me regardless. I would love for you guys to join me. Alright, catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. We made it to 100 uh, fucking subscribers. Let's try to get to 200. I love you guys. Bye bye. This thing is called Riding the Bull.